As Detroit Lions fans, we have been kind of traumatized. We suffer from PTSD. We suffer from same old lion syndrome where we want to keep going back to the past and we can't get out of it. And one of the things that I've been trying to do for you guys as we have approached this season, and if you were part of this channel last year, you remember me telling you that the rebuild was over. You remember me telling you that we weren't going to go into year three of a rebuild. You remember me saying these things and I will continue to say them, right? I will continue to tell you that the rebuild is over. And then when I saw Dan Campbell's press conference about us trying to win, us trying to be competitive, that told me everything I needed to know, that this guy was trying to win this year. This is the beginning, in my opinion, of our Super Bowl window. I think that the window is not opening. I think it's open. I think it's wide open. That breeze is coming right through. And the Detroit Lions are definitely in a Super Bowl window. Why did I bring all this stuff up? Because as Lions fans, one of the reasons I started doing this channel is because I got sick to death of the mainstream media talking about my team. They don't know my team. They know they might know the history of my team, but they didn't have to live the history of my team. In addition to that, they don't know the ins and outs of the organization, the team. They just know the surface level stuff. So that's what made me kind of really get into YouTube and start doing th this type of channel and talking about the Detroit Lions. And it really grinds my gears to see other fan bases talking about my team like they know my team. They don't, right? But there's a guy we're all familiar with, a uh, very loudmouth individual. I have no problem with Stephen A. Smith. Um, he's, he's good at what he does. He's at the top of his game, and I am not going to hate on that. But he said some things about my team that I didn't really appreciate. And I want you as a Lions fan, as you listen to this, I want, and we're going to discuss after what, afterward why I don't think this is the case. But it's Stephen A. Smith appearing on first take a few days ago, and he was talking about the Detroit Lions, who's more likely to do what between two teams. So here's what Stephen A. Smith had to say when it comes to the uh, Super Bowl and the Detroit Lions. So Stephen A., who's a better chance to win the Super Bowl, the Detroit Lions or your Dallas Cowboys? I'm going to have to say the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to have to say the Dallas Cowboys. Now, in no way am I saying the Dallas Cowboys are going to win the damn Super Bowl. I'm certainly not saying that. I'm just saying they got a better chance of pulling it off than the Detroit Lions at this particular moment in time. Because I think that the Detroit Lions are relatively youthful. I'm not, I've never been sold on Jared Goff, even though I'll give him credit where credit is due. But the rest of their squad, even Dan Campbell, is young as a coach. I love the job that he has done. I love the metamorphosis that has taken place within their culture. I give them a lot of credit for that. I see God, they got a defense now. I get that. And they got some ballers. But I do think youth comes into play, particularly when you're going up against a Dan Quinn-led defense, when you're sitting there and you're looking at Dallas's defense and what it brings to the table, the level of competition that's sifting through the NFC in San Francisco with Philadelphia as well. Dallas is more familiar with San Francisco. Philadelphia is more uh, – is, is, Dallas is more familiar with Philadelphia, obviously. Detroit, not necessarily so. So it's not about Dallas and Detroit going heads up because I think Detroit can beat them. I'm saying that when you look at the personnel on both sides of the ball, when you look at the personnel throughout the NFC Conference, thinking about Philly and San Francisco being an impediments to anybody else's success, I think Dallas would have a better chance against those teams than Detroit would in a playoff game, not regular season. That's where I'm coming from with it. But I will say this to you. Since week nine of last year, the Lions do have the third best record, tied with the Eagles for the third best record in the National Football League. Only the 49ers are 14-0 and the Chiefs at 13-2 and have a better record, okay? I get that part. But these Lions, yo, y'all, they got one playoff victory since 1957. 1957. Now, I understand that has nothing to do with these guys in a lot of people's eyes, but Swaggoo, you know this better than me and Doggy because you were on the field. When you are experiencing an, an, an entirely new and foreign environment to yourself, and that environment is playoff football, I'm sorry. I got to look at you uh, going up against a quality team like a San Francisco, a quality team like the Philadelphia Eagles who were just in the Super Bowl, and I got to say to myself, you getting to the playoffs – Having won playoff victory since 1957? You haven't won a playoff victory in 30 years? Do you have any idea 
how big that moment is going to be when they finally get to the postseason and you're supposed to be yeah. somebody that's been there? I just find that hard. I, just, I, I don't feel like the so history hard. matters at all. As far as this team, it's a new team, it's a new coach, it's a new day. Yes, you could argue they, they don't have the playoff experience recently, okay. but the history doesn't well, matter. Well, I will tell you this. Sitting courtside or sitting, uh, uh, sitting on, uh, standing on the field or sitting in the press box or being in locker rooms, not to say that you haven't been because I know you have, but doing this stuff for the last 30 years, I can tell you that players, including people like Swagoo, have highlighted for me how the moment matters. And there was Stephen A. Smith running his mouth about the Detroit Lions. And that's why I want you to get out of your own way. Get out, come out of the history of what this team has been through. None of that stuff matters. None of what the past does not matter. We've seen it happen before. One playoff win in 30 years doesn't matter. And that's why when people say, let's win a playoff game first, what, why does that matter? Because, oh, now we'll know the experience of a playoff game. Let's win the division first. None of that matters. We could win the division. We could win our first home playoff game. We could go all the way to the Super Bowl. There's no reason why we can't have it all, all at once. There's no – Stephen A. Smith says he, he, he went back in the past. Well, we haven't done this. We haven't done that. It doesn't matter what we haven't done. To the, to the team, they say, well, let's pump the brakes because we haven't done anything. They're supposed to say that. But if you look at the reality, none of that matters. Jared Goff – has playoff experience. And he did say that a lot of the team, the team is young. I think we have the second youngest team in the National Football League. But when you have a coach like Dan Campbell, when you have leaders on the team, and that's why I'm so for a Mike Evans, so for a veteran leader that can bring some calmness to this team, that can show them Mike Evans has won a Super Bowl and run through the playoffs. Jared Goff has been to a Super Bowl. So just because we were young, we're inexperienced, that doesn't mean we can't run the table. That doesn't mean anything when it comes to a playoff run. We can knock all of that out. And this year, I expect two monkeys to get off our back minimum. First playoff win in 30 years, right? 30 plus years. And the first division North title, NFC North title. Both of, That's two monkeys in one year. First, we were supposed to have a winning season. We had that last year, right? This, this team is, is a reflection of its head coach. 100%. And because of that, this team can do anything. See, when, when, when we go back, it, it, it's like the movie 8 Mile. Shout out to the movie 8 Mile, man. Just turned 20 years old. I think it's 21 years old. And there was a line at the end of the movie. When Eminem's character, B-Rabbit, goes up against Papa Doc, and he's trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to do this? He thinks. He starts off, says, basically in the rap, he says, I know everything you're about to say against me. So he takes all of the ammunition that Papa Doc was going to have and bring it and, and spits it out. So when Papa Doc's turn to talk, he don't have nothing to say, right? We've been through all this stuff. None of that, whatever Stephen A. Smith, and, and it's not about Stephen A. Smith. This is his, what he's supposed to do. This is his job. I understand that. We've had him on uh, my, my channel before. He's always saying something like that. But this is why I'm in this space. This is what annoys me about Lions fans is we don't have to take one step at a time. We've already done that. We've been taking one step at a time for 50 some odd years. Let's take. Now, if you want to keep your hopes down, that's one thing. Getting your hopes up is one thing. If you're going to be let down, I'm not going to be let down because I've seen this movie before. But what I've seen is now you. this is the post credit scene. What you didn't sit through is the post credit scene where Roger Goodell says, hey, it's your time. The Detroit Lions, our time is here. That's why I'm so confident. I'm so confident in this team for the foreseeable future because our reign of misery is over. Our days of being at the bottom is over. We have a chance to be four and a half games ahead of the Green Bay Packers with two wins by us and two losses by them. They come out and play somebody they can beat. Either way, when was the last time the division was ours to lose? On a year when we sent Aaron Rodgers out of the NFC. In a year where we have an opportunity to dominate, and we're doing just that. So that's why I'm like, Lions fans, if you want to pump the brakes, I understand. If you are nervous, if you are hesitant, if you have PTSD, I understand. I get you. But for me, for me, I see it coming. I've seen it coming. I'm confident that things have changed in this organization. And it all started when Sheila Hemp took over this organ took over for her mom. And she got rid of her mom. She got rid of meaning, you know, what she had done. She got she took a step of firing a head coach midseason. So things are changed. 
Things have changed for the Detroit Lions. It's it might take a while for you to see it, but I'm I'm all in. I'm all in. I believe in this team. I believe what the NFL is trying to do for us, and it's our time. We've been at the bottom for 50 plus years. The time at the bottom is over. It's somebody else's time, right? So what we did in the past does not matter. This is the SOL mindset. This is the and, and sometimes the mainstream media can put it back in you. You want to walk away. Okay, I was confident we were going to beat the Carolina Panthers. There was no doubt in my mind. You can go back. It's, it's receipts, right? So let me know what you think, Stephen A. Smith. This is not a knock on him, a bash on him. I love Stephen A. Smith, what he does, what he's done for himself, what he's done for the space, uh, and the fact that he says what he wants to say. He doesn't care what you think, and that's that's the type, type of person you have to be when you're in uh, the media, whether it's on YouTube or, you know, I, I, I'm all for that. But at the same time, he don't know my team. He don't know my team. He knows the history of my team, but he doesn't know my team. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think that the Dallas Cowboys have a have a better chance? It, it made me laugh because I ain't done nothing in, in, in thirty in like thirty years, bro. And Dallas Cowboy fans are yelling like they've done. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. Don't forget about the Uno's watch party happening Sunday, a week from tomorrow. We got about twenty tickets sold already. Want to get that thing packed out? Uh, so purchase your ticket, man, and have a good time. I will see you next time.